Big news for you Mac users out there, including the Linux community. Acai Linux now has released their first Apple GPU driver with hardware acceleration. And now this Linux distribution can quite literally change the game on using other operating systems on a Mac instead of just Mac OS. The team at SIE Linux has been doing a phenomenal job. They're really proving it here. Let's go through a post here. And in the post, it shares a screenshot here, which is the GNOME desktop environment running a game with hardware acceleration, which is absolutely fantastic because up until now, that wouldn't be possible because the GPU drivers weren't available. What you could do before was do some simple tasks like use a web browser, make documents, interact with the desktop a bit. But now that's all changed. In this post, they say, we're excited to announce the first Apple GPU driver release. It's been a two year endeavor to bring this new driver to everyone. And they're proud that it's finally here. This alpha driver is running a smooth desktop experience, including some games, which is absolutely phenomenal for those of you using Mac OS. If you want to switch over to Linux, now you have the option to with some basic hardware acceleration support. So specifically, we're getting driver support on the OpenGL 2.1 and the OpenGL ES 2.0 for the current Apple M series systems. That means M1 and M2 have this hardware acceleration. And one thing I don't want to understate is how hard this team at SIE Linux has been working because not only has it taken two years, they are basically reverse engineering all the driver support and really going into this whole process unaware of how anything works because Apple keeps everything proprietary. They're not gonna give you any kind of clue how communication or driver support works with their system, let alone things like graphic support on, on the M series silicon based systems. It's also incredible that in older 3d games like quake three, they say, and Neverball, they have been actually able to run 60 frames per second at 4k. Absolutely fantastic. And if you are using a SIE Linux, make sure to install this patch or else you won't have the hardware acceleration support. The way you can do this, there is installation instructions in this blog post and also on their main website. I'll post a link in the description below, but basically to install the new drivers, you'll need to run the Linux SIE Edge kernel and then install the Mesa SIE Edge package. And it shows you right here how to do that. Basically, you just use the package manager Pac-Man since this is an Arch Linux based distribution and they strongly advise using Wayland instead of Xorg if you want to run the drivers properly. There's quite a bit of development still to be made, including to Vulkan drivers. There's no current hardware acceleration support if you're using Vulkan drivers, but I'm sure the team will work on this in the future. This here is an amazing start. And if you want to help the team, make sure to report any and all bugs that you find. And if you want to help me, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe below so you can follow more Linux engineering and programming content. Let's discuss what exactly they want from you here when you're reporting bugs. They say, do not open bugs for random apps not working. That's not what they're looking for. And they actually give you a list of things here to understand what to report. So let's go through this real quick. If you find an app that does not start up at all, please do not report it as a bug. Okay. If you run into issues like Linux XIE Edge unrelated to the GPU, please add a comment to this issue. If the GPU locks up and all GPU apps stop working, then run this command, XIE Diagnose, and actually submit this as a GPU bug. For other GPU issues, rendering glitches, apps that crash after starting up correctly, and things like that. Again, run SI Diagnose and comment on this issue. And finally, in the future, if the driver update causes a regression, then post it directly to the Meza Tracker. As mentioned before, when will other drivers be ready for things like OpenGL3, OpenGL4, Vulkan 1.0, Vulkan 1.3, there's a joke here. Every time somebody asks when a feature will be done, it delays that feature by a month. So stop asking because you'll get it whenever you get it. Stop asking. And then following that, they actually make a tease on the OpenGLES3 support on Asai Linux, which is fantastic because this team is devoted to keep chugging along and giving us access to a brand new operating system on the very powerful M1 and M2 silicon chips. I highly suggest reading this blog post more thoroughly, especially the section on anatomy of a GPU driver. We're not going to go through that right now, but I do want to give my opinion on what a side Linux has done for the Mac hardware. I personally think it's a great alternative to people who want to use the powerful hardware that comes from a MacBook. I personally have one myself with an M1 processor, and I'd say even before it was usable, before the GPU driver release, 
but that's mainly because I don't spend much time gaming or anything. I have more of a productivity type mindset on using my MacBook where I spend time researching on the web as well as writing stuff down. Those are the main reasons I needed to be able to use my MacBook. And now it's getting even more exciting because things like gaming support, at least the basics, is coming to a Mac near you. So let me know what you think about Asahi Linux in the comment section below. What you think about this GPU driver release. Make sure to like the video and subscribe below. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.